Hello golfers, it's John. I am back with some JD Golf TV about helping you play the game better. But today, I think you'll be thrilled to hear we're not going to talk about how to swing a golf club. We're going to talk about how to practice and get better. Look at, I think we can do this in one week. Let's get after it. Here we are talking practice. This is just like the game, just like the game, not just talking practice. You're gonna need to go to the dollar store and get you some of these dry erase dice. What we're gonna do, we're gonna have some fun. And yeah, you might struggle with this. And yeah, this lesson we're gonna talk about today is you're already striking the ball pretty solidly, but your homework is to figure out how would you use today's lesson to work out your solid contact. Now, I gotta tell you, full disclaimer, I am sponsored by the dollar store, except it's now a buck 25 store. That's just kidding. I just think these are fantastic. Actually, the idea I got from an old friend of mine, Andy Miller, super guy. I'm gonna write on here, draw. Okay, I'm gonna write over here, fade. Now you might think that this is gonna confuse you while you practice, and it may actually. However, you're gonna start rewiring that pretty little head of yours to understand how to deliver the golf club. Draw, fade, I'll give you a straight one. Interestingly about the straight idea, I'm not gonna hit a straight ball on the golf course. I hit it straight by accident when I'm trying to hit a draw or fade. We'll talk about that at another time. I think we may have already covered it. Now how about a hook? What's a hook? A whole bunch of draw. Are you ever gonna need to hook a ball on the golf course? Just say yes. How about a slice? Okay, and we're gonna put in an extra shot. Jeepers, look at that, I have one extra. What if we did this? We got draw, fade, straight, hook, slice. Let's put low like a shot you would hit out of the trees. Maybe a punch shot into a screaming wind, like seems like anyway in Pennsylvania every single day is high wind and rain now. It was better, by the way, in April, than, or rather in March than April. But here we go, let's have some fun. And this is all you do. Okay, ooh, straight ball. Okay, golf has called for the straight ball. And now this, we're gonna consider this something called practice variability. Can you hit it straight? So on the TrackMan screen, we have got our club speed, right? We've got our attack angle up there. We have got club path face to the path, curve, height, how far it finished from the pin, and how many yards it carry. So we're gonna go hit this ball straight. Now I'm gonna to try to feel out the club face and path of straight. That's what straight is. And I'm gonna guess, folks, and it is a guess, but by practicing this way, your guesses are gonna get a whole lot better really fast. We could even call this calibrationism as what we do as golfers. This is where you wanna make a lot of mistakes, right? All right, straight ball done again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, we like it. Now, I'm using the track, man, and I'm using the golf course feature, and yes, I'm playing a, a very hard hole, PJ National. Okay, that ball curved a whopping four feet left. Folks, I ain't any better than that. I'm calling that dead straight. So what do we do? See what golf calls for again. Golf says, ooh, I gotta hook it. Ooh, I gotta hook it toward the water. Now, would I really do this on a golf course? Well, probably not, but it's okay. What I want is a real looking picture up there to hit it. Okay, fine, it's a simulator, but it's close to real. You can hear the birds. Uh, if, I, if I dunk it in the water, hopefully you guys will hear it. I'm not sure it's gonna come by, uh, come through the uh, audio. All right, so we would hook. Now I'm gonna take this ball out to the right. Now, a hook means a lot of curve. Now, how do you create a lot of curve? Hopefully, if you've been following me long enough, you've got the right answer. So 
cue the, uh, oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. I can't remember the show. I know you get mad at me for not remembering things. Alex Trebek, that's all I got for you. Jeopardy, there we go. Ay, I'm getting old, folks. All right, so I need what? I need a lot of difference face to path. To get me a lot of path, I'm just gonna aim to the right edge of that green. And then I'm going to maybe, uh, maybe I'm just gonna get my grip a little bit more over this way, just a touch. But actually, to be quite honest, I'm gonna feel it right here, a little bit extra closed club face at the top of the backswing and keeping it closing on the way down. Okay, there we go. All right, done again. Aiming right. Bigger curve, folks, here we go. Oh no, get on the ground ball. Oh, oh, he hit the big curve. Ooh, oh, did you hear that? I hope you heard that, in the water. Cool, however, I predicted my shot. You just saw evidence why I don't like the curve toward water, by the way, but that's not what we're doing here. We're, we're having a practice session to calibrate my feel for face to path, brothers and sisters. All right, you ready? Yep, I had five degree path. I had the face four and a half degrees left of that, so I curved it 14 yards instead of four feet. Bueno. They, wait a minute, Dunning, you hit a bad shot and it was good. Yeah, see ya. Okay, what do you got now? Straight again. Oh my goodness, why don't you make me hit the hard shot all the time? All right. Having a blast out here trying to feel out maybe that straight, folks. I'm not sure, but I'm going to find out in a hurry. I just missed the ball. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, right in the water. Even the coach misses a shot here and there, folks. It happens to the best of us. Okay. Well... That was sucky, but that's okay. What I'm, in this case here, I miss hit the golf ball. So I'm not gonna do any recalibrating of face to path. I actually miss hit it. So I'm just gonna throw it out. If I were to miss a few of them like that, then I'm gonna go, wait a second, stop, flight in the ball, work on striking the ball. Again, that's your homework. How would you use this, your little dry erase, dollar and now a quarter tool to help you? No redos. Ooh, that stings too when you don't get a retry. But that's golf. Oh, hook again. Man, this game is biased. Come on, folks. Give me something to deal with. Okay. Big hook. Big difference. There we go. Make sure I start this one out there to the right, baby. Okay, start it out there. I'm the right edge of the green. Okay, definitely, definitely. Yes, keep coming, honey bunny. Look at that thing come in. Hello, golf. Folks, that was beautiful. We'll do one more try and see what God has to say this time. Ooh, slice. Oh, baby. Now, we got a situation. If I'm going to slice this thing, I'm going to lose a lot of distance. Do you know why? Cue the Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. Why, if I slice it, am I going to lose distance? Here's the answer. Because I have to get the face to the right open to the path to make it curve to the right. And I've got to do it a lot to make it curve a lot to the right because it says slice, not fade. So in this case, this 7-9 will never go 166 yards. There's no chance on earth. I've got a club up. I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go 6 iron. Hey, by the way, I am on the Callaway staff, have been for years. I can tell you something. If you haven't tried that new Paradigm stuff, please try it. You are going to love it. Mine stayed in my golf bag for one day, and my punk daughter stole it. And she is murdering it. Okay, to hit a big slice, I've got to get the path going very left of the face. How am I going to do that? I'm just going to aim that way. I'm not going to swing over the top. I'm not going to, we call it the tomahawk when you swing this way like you're, you're throwing an axe. You know, that's, that's for drinking games. This is a different thing. I'm going to aim at the bunk and get this baby moving. Now, to get the face open enough to the path, because I am a drawer of the golf ball, I'm going to change my right hand pretty severely. I'm going to turn that right hand over to the 
left. Whenever I turn either hand to the left, the face turns the opposite way. I don't change my left hand grip ever, folks. Uh, that's just the ba that's, that, that baby's never changing I, ever. It's the right hand I use to fine tune. This one here is like the violin tuning peg, right? This one, get that baby locked down. Then you use the little fine tuner. That's the right hand for actual club face. All right, see lice. This, oh man, hit it over the water and curve it back because that's smart. But hey, we're talking about learning here, folks. All right, Dunnigan, let's see what you're made of. Uh, I don't know if we can call that. A, okay, it is slicing. Oh, even the six iron didn't get up all in the green. I had the speed there. Yeah, 83. Oh, boy. Face to path with 7.5 open. Now, there's one more thing I want to suggest to you. If you're really cool and you make good use of your now $2.50, you can do this one. Folks, I'm just so fancy. I have a different color dye. Dice, die, die. What if we put like this? Low, medium, high, and I could go, well, for me, medium is standard, okay? So I got two mediums, a high, a second low, all right, and a second high. You know what's really cool about the high ball for me personally? The intent of hitting the ball high actually makes me make a better swing. Isn't that special? It does because it makes me use the ground better without having to think about doing it. Okay, so here's what we would do. Oh, it's about to get fancy in here. Okay, so number one, we're going to give us a low. Ah, a low, low. Well, that didn't work out. I'm going to get rid of the low on that one and put it with my other standard shot, which is a draw. Fine, look at that, you got dry erase. Okay, so we're gonna go here and go, that is a low, and here I'm going to have to use my dry erase. Wait, it's a dry erase, watch this. We'll get rid of low and put draw on again. All right, so we've got low, there's stuff all over the place. Low, ooh, cheapers, creepers. Low fade. So I don't need a ton of curve, just a little curve. So now we're gonna imagine we're playing, oh, I am going four miles an hour into the breeze. Okay, and the breeze is putting it toward the water too, that's two and a half, not too much. Okay, so low, I'm gonna lean into it and hit a fade. I think, I think I might have enough stick to get here. Man, oh man, oh man, let's see. No, I'm not some super strong tour player. I'm a super weak coach. All right, here we go. Low fade, Dunnigan. Get there, low fade. Now you see my finish is different on the low ball. I'm more in front of it. That ball's perfect, folks. I'm more in front of it there. I kind of went this way into the low. Whereas the fade ball, you'll see me, the high ball, you'll see me go way up on the finish. Wasn't that cool? All right, and we'll do one more for you. I think you get the gist, though, but I'm having a great time. Okay, golfers. Now, what we have is, yikes, medium, straight. Jeez, Louise, that's too many straight shots. All right, medium trage, which is standard for me. I'm right, the, right around 90 feet up in the, in the air. You know, high might be 100, 110, 120 if you're Rory McIlroy, but you got to have a lot of speed for that. And then low is going to be somewhere around 80, 70. That, well, okay, fine. That would be a lower trajectory, but the actual, my low shot is going somewhere around 50, 60 feet up, maybe less. Okay, if I'm gonna go medium, straight, I can't use the six. It's gonna go over the green, gotta go back. Okay, wait, well, hey, that's my standard shot, except don't draw. All right, so I got a little feel of not getting the face left of the path, keeping the path kind of straightish. And you just practice it and you learn the feel, by golly, it's how it works. Ooh, I can see that flag stick in my brain right there. Let's go, baby, you got this. Oh, it's almost straight. It's almost straight. That ball, that was damn straight. Get back. All right, ball, what'd I get there? Uh, 
Oh, I had three yards of curve. Oh, okay. I'll make a deal with you. If I curve that golf ball under five yards, that's straight. If I curve it 10 yards, that's draw. 15 to 20, that's a hook. But I got the club path zero. The face, the path is only slightly left. Maybe I caught it a little mishitty. Or, well, I'll take it anyways. This exercise will be difficult. It's supposed to be difficult. Remember this. Struggle is right. Struggle is good. Struggle is the way we grow. This is the way. Get after it.